Welcome back to Ace Movie Channel. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe our channel and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Go ahead and comment down below that more tutorials you'd like to see from us. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a realistic transition with chroma key in Ace Movie. 1. Remove the green screen with chroma key. First, let's import your video to Ace Movie and add the green screen video into the timeline. Here, you can see the green screen part on this video. Let's go to the right side, in the video. Here you can see the chroma key, and click this square button. The chroma key will be activate. Then click the color picker. There is a square magnifying glass right beside the color picker. With the color picker, you can pick the exact color and check the RGB information about the color. Let's move the color picker here and click the green screen. Then go back to tolerance. Dragging this slider to the right, and you can see the green screen is disappear. When you drag the slider to much, it will destroy the rest of the video, so just make the tolerance to a suitable position. Next, let's add this another video to the timeline. I'll put it under this video. Before we make a change for this video, we need to lock this track, just in case I accidentally adjusted this video. Then let's click the video and go to the preview window. Adjust the scale by dragging here, and move it to the right position. 2. Add transition animation. When remove the green screen, let's add some keyframe to the video to make the transition. First, let's click the neon video, and move the playhead to about 1 second and add a keyframe. And move forward the playhead about several frames to add another keyframe. Then go to the right side, in the animation tab, Drag the opacity to zero. Let's play to preview this animation. After that, let's move the playhead here, click this video and add a keyframe. And move to 2 second, add another keyframe on it, and go to the animation tab. Increase the scale, and move the video. Make this door at the middle. Also change the opacity to zero. Then lock the first track, and click the neon video. Let's move the playhead to the position of the first keyframe of the video above. And add a keyframe to the neon video. Move the playhead to the position of the second keyframe of the this video. And add another keyframe to the neon video. Then change the scale and position of the neon video to fit the whole window. After that, let's play to see the final effect. You can also to change the duration of this animation to fit your need. That's it for today's video tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Let us know what tutorials you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.